And this is a tutorial on to how to make a stink bomb. I've disguised my features and my voice so that I don't get nicked by the police. Because it's such a good stink bomb idea that it might catch on all over the fucking world. So I'll use many different guises in my accent because I'm fucking good at accents I am. So first thing you'll need to do to make this here stink bomb is yourself and the intended place where you want it to smell. Now, I'll just give you an example. If that's a hospital that you want to make a big stink in, then you've got to make the actual stink bomb, the one that I'm going to tell you about, at the fucking place. So in other words, in situ is where you've got to be. Now then, if you want it to be at your house, then you've got to make the fucking bomb stinky in your fucking house. It's simple, really, aren't it? So you know where I'm coming from now, don't you? Right then, now let's change the accent somewhat. What you've got to bloody do is get yourself in the room. Make sure all the windows and doors is closed, yeah? And then you make the noise like the pig. Whee! Okay, this is not important to make noise like the pig, but I just said make noise like pig. Don't switch off, because this really is a good stinky bomb. So then, what you need is to shut all the doors, and you shut all fucking windows. Make sure nobody else is going to be around for a good long time. And then what you do is you get the bigger knife and cut your own fucking front. That's right, you kill yourself dead. Now when you've been dead for a good two, three months, you fucking stink real good. And friends and family walk in the room and they go, fuck me, what a stinky cunt. And this is the best stink bomb in the world. Gracias, gracias, good fuck thy sass.